Jonathan, are there special skills a human being needs to uh, to have to to be able to grasp a story or to tell a story? There are uh, mental conditions uh, like autism, uh, which is a sort of, uh, it's been described as a, a disorder of the imagination where uh, autistic children are incapable of uh, pretend play. They, they don't, they're not attracted to it. They don't want to go to the land of make-believe. Uh, is it hard to put themselves in someone else's shoes? Well, that's one of the ideas, yeah, yeah. And uh, so, and adults with autism also have no, uh, craving for fiction. They don't understand it, they don't get it. Uh, and then on the other side of the spectrum you have uh, disorders like schizophrenia or bipolar where it can be seen as a sort of story madness, this wild overproduction of narrative uh, that really makes a person uh, quite miserable, but can re result in great literature. <laughs> uh, you know, Moby Dick was written when uh, Melville was really quite sick uh, and, and manic. Uh, and there's a really good chance that, you know, without, uh, but for Melville's miserable mental illness was really making him miserable. Um, we would not have had the greatest of all the great American novels.